boom, there you have it. Okay, so this is my client Zane. And as you can see, score is up 111 points in the first month. Good job, Andre. So this is his um, Experian update. Okay, as you can see, right there, it's proof. Zane and 101 points. And as you can see, there are remaining items hindering all, all three scores if you're able to remove how many points can I expect. So yeah, this is not made up. As you can see, these are the, uh, as you can see, like we're getting crazy results, but we still have some late payments removing. We're gonna remove these pretty quick too. Um, we always remove late payments. So let me show you some more updates for our clients. It's a little difficult because I have to go back in my phone and we have so many different conversations with our clients that I literally have to just pick. Um, there's just too many, too many to count. So let me go back in my Skype, okay? Um, and as you can see, look at, look at what I told him. Um, this is my, <clears throat> I just told him not long ago. Sorry for the glare. I need reports of all the new people that got amazing results that said great things. Okay, bro, give me more time. I'm out of my room. Okay, yeah, so he's getting those, but I'm just gonna pick um, some as much as possible. Let me pick, okay, Jeremy. Jeremy and his wife, um, you can kind of see. And look at that, 54 points right there. 50, I mean, oh, no, 54 deleted right there, okay? Jeremy Dennis, this is our client. Um, 54 items deleted, okay? And as you can see, his Equifax score is in limbo. So sometimes that happens. Um, scores fluctuate during the dispute process. Um, what we try to show off here are the results if we get quick, right? We wanna show you that we do get quick results um, and that's just the bottom line. I'm not gonna promise you anything. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing, okay? So, yeah and then julie dennis remember he has his wife signed up and you can you can see here boom 10 items deleted and look at the scores almost 700 okay so i can go on and on and just pick these results that we're getting this is and then we'll go to jason mr lance okay as you can see we're loading it up here come on open it up boom look at that 55 deleted Okay, 800 FICO score, 41 points increased, all right? Boom, right there. Yeah, so like I said, we're getting awesome results quicker than, like, we're not gonna be in business if we are not getting quicker results than everyone. So here's what happens at Pinnacle. What we do, we wake up every day, we eat, we breathe air, we go to the bathroom, and then we think, how can we fix credit better than everyone? Not just one guy on YouTube that gets all the popularity, not just two guys on YouTube, not just three guys, not just four guys, not just through a Google search of all the companies that pop up, literally everyone. And how can we kind of prove our point? Well, the best way is to be 100% transparent. And I have a, you know, a, a whiteboard behind me that's gonna discuss some very important items that you should pay attention to if you want to hire a company or do it yourself. Um, we're just going to cut through the BS and show you. Okay, Mr. Hunter, but before I do that, I want to show you what we, what we do for our clients here, like not hiding anything back. Okay. Boom, right there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Look at the derogatory account section, okay? You see it's empty, pretty much empty. So with, with this report, um, there's only a couple things. Yeah, there's only a couple things. And it, as you can see, it's a real report. And you know, this information here is not uh, super private. It's just his name, you know, and yeah, don't stalk my clients. You can reach them through Facebook. They don't mind, you know. 
it's really hard to steal identity. It really is. Like people, people often call me and be like, okay, I don't need to share my personal information. Well, for one, we don't really share it. Like we don't share your social. We don't share your personal documents, your private, like driver's license. Like a cop can't even get your, your ID without probable cause. So why should we be able to show you that? So you know, right? So, but I just showed a, a credit report so you can see it's real. They don't mind. And um, that's just how we roll here. Uh, obviously, I'm not showing all the clients because I don't have all the time to do so. There's just too many, and some clients don't want me to show anything. Okay, um, so yeah, so you saw the report here, and you can see the amount of delinquencies he has. Okay, so they're pretty much wiped clean, right? We, we pretty much wiped his file clean. He doesn't have nearly anything on it except just one delinquent, one derogatory account. And I think that's a late payment on uh, Credit One or Capital One of those. So yeah, I mean, before he signed up, would you like to know how many items he had? He had quite a few. I don't know exactly, like I said, for the lack of time here. Um, oh, I have one more case study. I have one more case study to show you before we hop in. Okay, as you can see, we can boom, we can go in here. And let me just, I have to, I have to, uh, okay, right there. That's what I can show you. This is obviously a different report. Okay, look at, he only has a few. He has nine, he has, how many, seven? delinquencies, seven derogatories, nine delinquencies, and nine derogatories. Read it on here. You saw it right there. Would you like to know how many he had to begin with? Well, he had quite a few. So that's his report, okay? Remember on, keep a mental note of this, okay? Look, this is his report. He has on experience seven negative items, seven delinquent accounts, seven, see right here, collection accounts. Five collections on TransUnion, four on Equifax, 10 derogatory accounts on Equifax, six on... Okay, so in his first month, now, and, and a lot of those were newly added, okay? And you could verify that because we're going to pull the report. We're going to pull the... Um, we're going to pull the credit report extract because remember this is the report that is the report that he has to date okay that's the report that he has to date and this is the report that he had when he started i believe that's his first month okay so we're what we're going to do is show you the update okay this is what we, he had as you can see 18 items deleted Okay, and six added accounts. Okay, six added accounts means during the dispute process, other companies decided to add information and change, alter information, which is not right. They can't do that. And we'll make another video about that. So yeah, these are just a couple of um, some results. I wanted to give you guys the goodies in the beginning. And let me see if we have any more. <clears throat> okay, Hector. Hector is here. Okay, we can open this account. Boom, look at that, 18. I think his name is Gomez, I don't know why. I think he, Gomez, uh, no, it must be Gomez. There's a discrepancy. This guy's Hector Gomez, I believe. But my, we made an error. But anyway, 18 negative items deleted. Could be Gomez, I doubt it. And look at the score, 35, was that 35 points? Let me zoom in here. 55 points, 23 points, and 44 points. As you can see, this these are extracts from the credit report updates that we get. Um, which basically, we're just um, pulling the reports from my score IQ, right? And as you saw, I, I, we, sh we uh, showed the my score credit report for a couple other clients.
and we have another update right here. This has got his guys here, been a client for two weeks. As you can see, look at his scores. They jumped up and then two, del two deleted. That's, that's, that's an early update for him, right? And that was Tony. And you could see the jump of the scores right there. The, the previous report I just showed you, this is it. See, 614, 713, boom. Okay. Okay, what else do we got here? Oh, Brian, Mr. Thompson. What else do we got? Oh, Deborah. Oh, look at Deborah. Look at Deborah. 12 items deleted, 85 points, 57, and 104 points increased. Okay, so these are kind of the things that you can expect, right? It's typically what happens, you know, and you can see another. <clears throat> you can see here, another guy went through our program. Look at the score increase from 635 to 752. As you can see in the second month, it went from 635 to 609. Uh, we're not talking about no 609 letters now. <laughs> I'm talking about the score, right? Um, so for some of you, that's a lot. But anyway, he went from 635 to 609 because of the dispute process. Like I said, during the dispute process, your score um, will fluctuate. So the key is to, uh, and I hope you guys are taking a screenshot of that, of the stuff that I'm putting down here, is to understand during the, during the dispute process, you need to expect the worst right? Uh, prepare for the worst, expect the best, right? Your score will jump up and down because that's creditors are constantly doing crazy things. And then also um, it's hard for FICO to get your score updated in calculator, right? Because remember, there's like 12 known al algorithms from FICO. We don't know which one you're going to use. It depends upon the banks that you use in the states that you're in. Different banks from different states are going to use different versions of FICO and they're not really good. It's gonna be hard for them to tell you which ones. Remember, it's not impossible to get this stuff, this information, but it is very difficult. So the key is, to, do you value time? And we're gonna jump into that here. So um, here's the thing. If you hire a credit repair company, how effective, how effective are credit repair companies? So what we know from credit repair companies is are there methods? If you don't know, then you definitely wanna watch this video. In prior videos to this, I basically dissect all the credit repair companies, all the main ones. You can just do a Google search or a YouTube search and look around and you'll see all of them do that. So here's the thing. On YouTube, if you wanna search for credit repair, they're basically gonna to try to teach you how to do it yourself, okay? Now, if you Google YouTube, you'll find templates, you'll find Lexington Law, you'll find Credit Sync, you'll, you'll find Sky Blue, okay? You'll find all of these companies, and they're all doing the same thing. Pretty much, they're all doing the same thing, right? So, they all mail, mail letters, okay? And they all have a monthly fee. Now, why do they have a monthly fee? Well, the, they have a monthly fee for legal reasons because According to the Credit Repair Organizations Act, this company it cannot charge up front, and nor do they want to because, remember, they're about mass marketing to the masses. And so what they will do is they will do a limited amount of disputes because they're limited to the mail system. Because the mail system only, only allows you to do a limited amount of disputes within a certain period of time, i.e. one month, right? You can, you can check this out. Go to TransUnion. Go to... Um, Equifax and Experian.com and read up on how they limit you to the dispute process. And they often mislead you on how to dispute online, but it's always going through the mail system. Okay? So the mail system is not effective. And they charge you a monthly fee because they can't charge up front because they'll do a certain amount of disputes and then charge you, and then do a certain amount of disputes and then charge you. So you know for a fact, because they do this mail model, that they're going to charge a monthly fee and it's going to take a lot of time, it takes time, okay? And all of these companies, 
You're never going to find a video like this on YouTube that shows you the results that we just saw, right? Now, the only thing that you'll get, if you go to LexingtonLaw.com or CreditSaint or CreditRepair.com, CreditRepair.com is the same as Lexington Law, different company, same ownership. Um, they will basically tell you that they have a 28, 30% deletion or success rate within uh, 12 months, six to 12 months, after, after six months. Okay, within, definitely within 12 months. Is that what you want? Do you want a little bit more than a quarter of your credit clean within six to 12 months? Okay, and if you calculate that, that's six months times $100 and 600 plus the 90, the $49 or $100 you sign up the Penny Pumpage program you have. So you're already $700 out of the game, meaning you lost 700 and you only have a quarter of your credit report clean. Now, if you do the math, assuming that it would take every six to 12 months to get a quarter, that means there's four times six. Four times six is, uh, what is that? 42, 52, 36? That's a couple of years right there already gone, okay? Uh, I think it's 32, if I'm not mistaken. Six times four is 32. Six times six, okay. 36, 42, yeah, could be right, 42. Right, so that's a couple of years, more than a couple of years. So do you wanna wait that long to get those results? Right, so, um, <clears throat> what you don't wanna hire me is for my math skills. You wanna hire me for my credit repair skills, but keep in mind, I just woke up, so just bear with me. Anyway, if you do the math, which maybe I got wrong or right, it's still around the ballpark. It's gonna take you more than a year or two years to get subpar results. Is that what you want? Now, if you YouTube, you can check this now, Go on YouTube. They're always going to teach you how to do it yourself. They're going to mail you. They're going to send you these templates where you can book a call with them. And if you're desperate, you'll pay them to, to do some shady stuff, which I highly recommend you don't do. Um, now you can learn how to do it on YouTube, but it's going to take time to do that. That's going to take time away from you actually working on your credit. And then if you learn how to do it, it takes even more time to do it. Right? And how, how, how often do you think you'll make a mistake if you actually do it on your own? Again, I'm not discouraging you. I learned how to do it myself from the right people, but if, if you want to learn how, then I just want you to be aware of what you're in for, okay? Um, so learn how to do it takes time, takes even more time to do it. Is that what you want to do? You have to ask yourself, do you really want to learn how to do it on your own? Is it that easy? Well, I don't think so. And uh, if you learn how to do it on your own, you're just gonna learn what all these companies are doing, right? They're gonna use mailing letters. You're just basically doing what these companies are already doing. The, all these YouTube gurus, I checked it, I looked at all of it. They're all doing it the same thing, mailing letters, right? The more popular they are on YouTube, the less effective they are, trust me. <clears throat> um, they even have videos where they tell you, you can phone, fax, or dispute online your accounts, your negative accounts, but that's all going through the mail system. I made another video, which I will post up here, and you could watch it, and it tells you how the mailing system is, basically the phone system, the fax system, and disputing online is all linked to the mail. It's just gonna go through the mail anyway, right? That's why you get letters back in the mail, because it's through the mail system. You can, you can Google some of these YouTube gurus, and they feel so you know, great to give you these, these fax numbers and all that, but they're not effective. That's like how you did credit repair in like 1992. It's 2022 now, okay? So um, we know what they're doing. We know what all the YouTube people are doing, and it's not effective. If it was effective, they can post a video of them pulling out their phone and, and looking back after back their clients. Right? And not just cherry picking things that got lucky on. Remember, there's a 80 to 100 rule. Okay? That means if you give me 100 people to work on, 80 of them are going to be fixed within one to three months. Okay? That's pretty darn quick. That's pretty darn quick. Because we can't control the, the amount of um, negative accounts. As you saw, you can rewind. You can see how different credit reports and updates vary as far as the amount of negatives that are removed. But if you calculate the percentage, it's in the ballpark of 80 to 100% clean around there, which is pretty good, right? There, um, the one guy, 
um, which I can show you right now, he had a 98% deletion rate um, his first month. Okay, Mr. Moskowitz, Well, I don't, so his, his WhatsApp is on this phone that I'm shooting from, so I can't see it, but I, I can show you the report from my Skype. I can quickly do that for you guys now. Let me just look, let me look, let me look, let me look. See, this is why it's so difficult. I have to scroll and scroll to find it. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the report so, what I'll do is I will, okay, you can see there, this is the report, boom, I got to cover all the other information, can you see it, okay, and as you can see, it's a credit report from my score IQ, right? Now let's scroll up to the, <clears throat> boom. This is the summary. Now look at the summary, okay? Take a good look. As you can see, it's mostly clean. Now let's look at what it looks at in terms of the, um, his online portal basically extracts all the data from my score and shows you the percentage of items deleted in the amount as you can see 18 items deleted okay right there so a high percentage of deletion like 98 percent but then you had six accounts that were added and that's six across the different bureaus six six on one particular bureau and then added to the next right so um and you can see the types of negative accounts we got removed. Medical. Medical. They're all here. You can check it out, okay? Yeah, so. I, so you can see with the, just the few of results that were, um, that I showed you guys, and I, like I showed you, I just messaged Tammy to show me all the new people that got results. And that's what he showed. And he hasn't responded back yet. Okay, so we're getting awesome results. See, with Pinnacle, you have 100% transparency, right? We're gonna post up a video, show you results that we're getting. I even show you some that were just, just two were deleted, but those two were very important to that particular person. They were, um, with my cat here. Hey guys, sorry I had to move my cat. Okay, so as you know, with Pinnacle, we have 100% transparency. We're gonna show you the results that we get for our clients. 100% transparency, have the highest success rate, okay? If you want to hire a company with the highest success rate, then look no further because we're showing you how we do it. Every single video I'm showing you guys updates results. You can look at the names they're different people, right? So I don't know how else you want to put it. Um, the fastest results we definitely get. If you if you were to compare the results at Lexington Longest Credit, Saint.com, Sky Blue, or these YouTube gurus, you would find that we have the highest success rate. But why? How? Okay. Number one, we do the opposite of what Google and YouTube does. The key to being different is to be different. Like do something different. We don't do anything. I looked at YouTube and I often wondered, do these people know what we know? And I'm like, haven't, haven't found it yet. All these YouTubers and Google companies you find on Google, they're doing very basic stuff, okay? Very basic stuff. So we do the opposite. You can't expect, if you wanna get the same results that they're getting, then learn how they do it. Learn, I mean, if this was easy, everyone would be doing it, right? But the majority of people have bad credit because they don't have time, they don't have the knowledge. 
we have knowledge and intel, okay? And um, basically, how we're able to get so much success is because our public and private data houses that we have access to, which is basically a house of disputes that have all won. And so we have that, we have these databases here, and we have a proprietary system called ACAT, Automatic Credit Analytic Technologies. It's an in-house system that we use here to basically aggregate all of those, all of that online data of cases out of one, disputes out of one, and got items deleted, and then our own records of what we know what works and our own experience, and then it, the system will automatically pick the winning to disputes, and then it will predict the outcome, predict the outcome of what will happen when we send this dispute to this creditor or to this agency, what will happen, and then it automatically sends out the <clears throat> the response to basically nullify their response ahead of time, which is precisely why I'll give you an example, okay? When we first do one round, well, it's technically not round. Um, we do multiple rounds simultaneously. So how many rounds can we do um, when, when a customer hires us? We do multiple rounds up front. We're the only company that I know of that can do multiple rounds ahead of time and get success. It sounds very weird, right? It works. That's what I can tell you, it works. I'll give you an example, okay? So what I'm saying here is, so Zane, Zane sent us a letter from TransUnion on the 13th of this month, as you can see. Right? And that is right here. Now, this letter that he got from TransUnion, he also got from Experian. I can prove that to you. See, he got the same letter from Experian right here. Okay, receive this email from Experian tonight. Now, what does this email state? Okay. Now, I wanna tell you, right after that, so he got the uh, letter from, I hope you read it by the way, uh, basically states that bureaus aren't gonna do anything. All right, you, you, you read the letter, right? That's across all bureaus. They sent the same letter through the mail system. But how come right after that we got this update, okay? See, right there, boom. Okay, 101 points. And that's from Zane, okay? These are the remaining items hindering all three. So. As you saw, the Bureau said they can't do anything, but immediately after, things were removed. And we went through Experian.com through their dispute section. Well, here's the thing, he went through it because he has the account, we don't. And we don't teach anyone to do this and we don't use, we don't dispute through Experian. We don't, we don't ex dispute. Remember, I'm never gonna lie to you guys. We don't dispute online. Dispute, disputing online would indicate, this is what disputing online means. Disputing online means disputing directly with the bureaus. We don't do that, okay? That would indicate that we would basically go through the system that he went through. And he didn't dispute anything. He is just using Experian to monitor his credit report because he gets it. But he found that items were immediately removed after, the, after he got those letters. Those letters basically said two different things. The letters state, and, and each and every time we're able, uh, our clients get letters from the bureaus that state items been verified, we can't do anything, the disputes um, indicate that you question something on your credit report, you should send us more information pertaining to this dispute for us to respond to it. But when that happens, boom, things come off. That just happens with us because our system jam, our, our, our methods jam their system and they're gonna send out bullshit, right? So th th that's basically how we do it. Our system 
preloads all the disputes and predicts the outcome and it does it ahead of time. That's why we're able to get the success rate. They're not doing it, they're not doing it, we're doing it, and that's basically how. And you saw the, there's other, there's other uh, instances about this. There's other customers that, let's check this out. Okay, there's other customers that say the same thing. Oh, here, we got another one. Okay. Um, I gotta hide his address. I feel more comfortable doing that. Oh shit, okay. So anyway, I'll do it like this. So you can see here, boom. This is the report and this was from a different date. Okay, and now look what it says. We understand that recently something on your credit report did not seem right. Okay, that's Mr. Lance, okay. And then you can see this is Mr. Lance update. And how do I know it's Mr. Lance's update? Because look, Jason Lance, this is the report. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. And then boom. Okay, 804-737-744. 55 accounts deleted. This guy has a lot, okay? This guy has a lot of negative accounts. He wants to hire, he hired the best company, okay? Because he doesn't want to mess around. He wanted to hire a company that is really good. That's how we're able to get off those accounts. And we don't do anything. We don't do anything that is stupid. Like all those other companies doing. We don't, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. We don't do police affidavits. We don't do all that fraud stuff. I have videos that kind of show you what we do but we don't do that. I'll tell you what we don't do. How about that? And as you can see, Mr. Lance sent us $500 more. Okay, see that? Okay, $500 just sent, Jason Lance. So our customers are voluntarily paying us because we get results, right? And then as you can see, he's gonna give us a bonus. Oh, shoot. If you can get banks removed, PKs removed, boom, $200 bonus. So we have customers that pay big money, you know, $5,000, $10,000, $2,500, $1,500. Our fee is $1,500, $2,500. Yeah, if that's a lot of money, then uh, you probably don't know what a lot of money is. It could be a lot of money how you perceive it, but your perception on a lot of money is really not smart because um, if you calculate all the opportunities, and this is if you have no credit, if you have no credit, look at all the opportunities you are missing in life. If you have credit that's holding you back, look at all the opportunities you're missing in life, but your current accounts. Look at the auto loan that you currently have. Look at the mortgage rate that you want to refinance. Look at that business loan that you can't get. Look at all the opportunities that you can't get. And if $1,500 is still a lot of money to you to get all of that that you want, then you're not really like comprehending the reality. You need this, you need to fix your credit, you need to pay someone, and if you're watching this video, then I'm the person, right? $1,500 or $2,500 is my fee. If you wanna give us bonuses, go ahead. If you wanna work with me personally, that's what we're charging right now. It used to be more, right? It used to be more. Some people say, hire me, and be like, you know what? I'll pay you extra, okay, whatever because they feel so confident. Here's the thing, my customers, they got money. Uh, they have money saved up or they're just rich, they're successful. And here's the thing about rich people, they're smart, they're not dumb, they're not gonna give money to some scam. Although they have in the past, people can be fooled. You can't fool people all the time because once they know, they know. But once they get to my door, once they get the pinnacle, they're super happy, right? A lot of my clients have hired other companies and did this YouTube shit and Google shit, and then they're like, oh, you know what I mean? They learn, but then they hired us finally. You know what? I'll pay the extra fee to get it removed. And we don't just remove, remove negatives. We boost up the scores. You saw their scores increase, right? In the beginning, their scores may not, like the first month their score may be in limbo, like I said, but like I said, we don't plan for one month. We don't plan, and you shouldn't plan for one month ahead of time. You should be planning like, one decade ahead of time. You should figure out what you're gonna do in five or 10 years from now. 
you should have a game plan for that. So when we take on clients, we have what's called a mentorship, where we monitor your credit and we work with you. We give you that extra call. We're gonna say, hey, bro, you know there's a new promotion for this card, you qualify. How do they know? We tell them and we prove it to them. And why wouldn't they know themselves? Is it because they're dumb? No, it's because they're busy. It is their, it is, it is, they're, they're busy. You typically want to hire an expert to help you, to coach you. Why do you think there's personal trainers? Why do you think there's finance managers, right? There's financial consultants, there's business consultants that these companies hire because they give them the right intelligence. They give them the right, uh, they give them the right advice. So if you don't have a team, um, you wanna have a team. And in terms of credit repair, you wanna have a winning team that will help you, right? So you can, you can spend all your time if you don't value your time and you want to learn this on your own, and you can learn how to do it, but that, does that mean you're going to do it? Knowing what to do and doing what you know are two different things. So this is a channel where if you want to hire a company to do it, then look no further, right? Because we're sitting here showing you the results. So um, the mentorship is key because you want insider knowledge. You want someone that's good at call, sit down with you on the phone and be like, hey, this is where we're at right now. You need to apply for this card, this card, that card. Keep the balance right here. I'm gonna call the risk assessment department for you. My connection with the local bank there. Hey, I know the GM here. I told him about you. The meeting's already set up, all right? Remember, we have databases of so many different banks, financial institutions, and we have connections. It's, it's not always what you know, it's who you know too. So with Pinnacle, it's our job to do that. And we just we didn't just pop up yesterday. You might have found this video yesterday or five minutes ago, but we haven't we've been here longer than five minutes than yesterday. We've been here for about ten years. Okay? And we've been doing the same exact thing for ten years. Right? Well, why haven't we blown up yet? Well, Lexington Law blew up and they're getting mediocre results. You know? So popularity doesn't really determine or equate to skill or ability, right? There's tons of talented people and tons of people that can do specific things, but they're not heard of. It's just how things work. But we have a channel here. We have about 500 subscribers. Hit the notification bell, hit the like button so you can get up to date in, insight and knowledge. Um, maybe you don't want to make a decision just yet. Okay, good. I'm with you on that. I want you to do the research. If what's holding you back from making a decision to sign up right now, that's good. No pressure on you. I want you to firmly believe with the money that you have, whether it's, you know, because we have two programs. We have the Fast Track program. <clears throat> okay, and I could like simplify it for you. I could simplify it for you, right? Because we want to know how effective our credit repair services. Okay, well, here's the thing. You either have a budget. I think I spelled that right. Budget. You either have a budget. Okay. You either have it. Have money. Or you don't. Okay. You either have fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred. Or you have 199 down plus $99 a month. This is called the Fast Track Elite Program. And this is if you hire me. Okay? You can pick whichever one. Um, I, we've been doing business like this for a long time. We just recently did this because we know people call and they're like, they can't join us because they don't have the money. Well, if you have this, 199 down and $99 a month, you can still get fast results. So let's kind of break it up. This is a cost effective means to get fast results, even faster than Lexington Law. But here's the thing. You may get faster results in Lexington Law, but that's technically not the fastest service, statistically speaking, and practically asking me that question. 
I will tell you because if you hire me, you typically will get, you know, you'll see some really good stuff within one to three months. This is not me promising you anything. It's just me looking at all the files we worked on and showing you the cold, hard truth. You can audit us and you'll find that. Those are the numbers. Between one to three months, you'll have a, you know, 80 to 100 roll, right? 86% success within one month on average, one to three months. I think that's actually higher if you go closer to three months. But in that first month, it's like, it's still pretty astronomically high. How are we able to do that? Well, it's basic, it's basic math. If we're doing, if you look at, if you look at the dispute lifetime of all of Lexington Law, I'll take, I'll use Lexington Law as an example because most people know about it. And uh, I'm not afraid of people going to Lexington Law Right, that's just how I. That's how. That's just how transparent. Uh, transparent I am. If you want to do that monthly program and get those results, okay. That, if that's what you want, then go for it. But if you want to get faster results, then you should choose us. So anyway, if you look at the lifetime dispute cycle of the first month, the second month, the third month, and the fourth month, and the fifth month, and the sixth month of Lexington Law, we pretty much. We pretty much. Uh, Put it all into like one to three months okay now these are the results that you get if you hire me now if the fast track elite is like three to six remember what i told you around um, maybe more than a quarter of success maybe a quarter more, more than a quarter or a quarter or around of items deleted within six to twelve months of Lexington Law, so they're like here, okay? But Fast Track Elite is right here, between three to six, okay? So you're kind of under, within this category, right? You're still, you're still, it's still less. So it's one, two, three, three, four, five. So it's $500 here to get that 80 to 100 here, around there. And this is in our contracts, this is in our, um, our, our, our contracts, so you want to look at our contracts, okay, if you want to sign up. And then they are 20, let's just say 25 or 30. It's actually 28%, I think. Yeah, 20, you can look at their website. It's around there, around this neighborhood. So, do you want to pay $700 and wait longer? If that's what you want, no hate. If that's what you want, then yeah, go to Lexington Law. But if you want to save time and get re better results, then look here, right? So those are the two programs we have. Um, and you can visit PinnacleCreditRepair.com, okay? Check that website out, do some research, and then figure out what's best for you. Okay, so I'll make another video going over some something else. This is just the promo video. Oh, if you watch this until the end, um, we'll give you 50% off this. If you hire me, 50% off, okay? So it's 750 to 1500, okay? You get 50% off this program if you hire me personally. This program, we cannot give you a discount on. <laughs> It's, it is how it is, all right? So, um, if you wanna take advantage of this, pro, of this promotion, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, write a comment saying you wanna join right now, and then we will um, have you join. We'll get you some awesome results, hopefully, and then that'll be that. Take it easy, guys.